In May 2007, the public is exposed to direct evidence that the Jehovah's Witnesses have a big problem with child sex abuse. Numerous newspapers, as well as some television coverage, made it clear that over a five-day period in February 2007, 16 child sex abuse lawsuits against the Watchtower were settled in three states, California, Texas, and Oregon. This is the largest ever settlement in the Jehovah's Witness history. Allegedly, it could be in the millions of dollars. Most Jehovah's Witnesses are unaware that this is all going on. It's as though an invisible fence is between them and what is really going on behind the curtains of the Watchtower. As recorded in one of these lawsuits in San Diego, case number G1E, 034558 uh, on page 4 of the lawsuit paragraph 17 I wanted to read something to you that uh, you might find rather interesting the watchtower defendants undertook the responsibility to instruct their elders as to what to do when they received allegations of child sexual abuse they promulgated policies and rules directing the elders to call the Watchtower defendants, the legal department, for direction about whether to report allegations of sexual abuse to police and law enforcement. The policies were designed to prevent cooperation with, if not frustrate, secular investigations. Elders were sometimes instructed to make anonymous calls from telephone booths so that law enforcement authorities would be unable to contact them for more information. I have before me copied court records on the 16 lawsuits recently settled by the Watchtower. Now, there were 16 lawsuits, and let me give you where they came from and where it was settled. Porter County, Texas, on February 15th, 07. Marion City, Oregon. Napa City, California. There were two victims in this lawsuit. Napa, California. Placer County, California. Yolo, California. There was three victims in this particular lawsuit, and that was settled on uh, 3207. San Diego, California. There were four victims in this lawsuit, and Tehima, California, three victims. All of those were settled by the Watchtower. Based on the information at hand, let's call the Watchtower in New York and let's see how they are handling this public knowledge on child sex abuse. Hi, yes, good morning. Yes, good morning. Can you hear me okay? Good. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get a hold of the legal department. Thank you. I'm going to take it. Patterson Operator. Hi, yes. Good morning to you. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Good. I'm trying to uh, get a hold of someone in the legal department. Thank you. Thanks for waiting. How can we help you today? Hi, uh, yes, sir. My name is Rick Farron, and I'm calling from Massachusetts. And what's your name, sir? Uh, actually, I'm not with the newspaper. Oh, okay, very good. Do you know which organization or business you're representing? Uh, what I am is I've been associated with the witnesses for many years. I am not a Jehovah's Witness, but a lot of my family members are. And I was wondering if what I was reading in the papers concerning these child sex abuse uh, settlements, if that is true. Sure. I know you're not going to be there, but uh, it may be that uh, they may be able to help you as well. In fact, uh, you want to give me their number, I'll call them. Is it uh, the Public Relations Department? Yes. Yeah. I think 
you can also throw a mask if you want. It's just the, the regular number here at Bethel. Okay, what, uh, do, you, do you just call the Watchtower operator and she get me public relations? Uh, yes. Good. Okay, can you connect me to him? Could could you connect me to him? To that department? Yeah, I can try. Thank you. Um, let me get, can I introduce you by your last name? Ah, uh, yes, Farron. How do you spell it? That's F-E-A-R-O-N. Okay. Mr. Farron. Okay. And you're, you're calling from Massachusetts? Yes, I am. Okay. Which part of Massachusetts? Well, right now, I, I, I travel around as a salesperson. So, I'm all over the place, but uh, for right now, let's go with uh, Eastern Massachusetts. Okay, very good. So, are you still there? Yes, right here. Come on, John Yes. Apparently, um, they only deal with me, and I apologize. I was assuming that they might deal with non dm personnel as well. Um, well, I guess I'm uh, not exactly sure how to answer your question. I, I was just wondering whether what I read in the newspapers is true or not. All right. Well, what, I, what I'm trying to, I have a lot of relatives that are witnesses, and it's a lot of nieces and nephews and young children, and, you know, it's quite alarming, and unless the paper over-embellished, but it seemed like it was a major problem in the organization with child abuse, but I was just trying to see what the headquarters itself would say on that, because, you know, asking your, your relative witnesses, they don't make comment. It's almost like there's an invisible screen between them and what's happening in the media. Well, I can appreciate that you're, um, you're on your own civilian, but I don't really have anything to say that you're still for that. If you were to ask your family about what you're reading, would they have any comments for you? Well, I've asked them before about it, but they just seem to think that somebody on the outside is making it up, and it's some type of a form of persecution that's coming against them. Well, Mr. Farron, I apologize that I'm not really able to comment on the situation, but it felt the need to discuss the after all, you are would it be would it be possible to speak with a member of the governing body? Unfortunately, we're not able to connect. Because uh, I did meet one at one time when I was visiting the watchtower. So there is no comment. All right, so no, nobody really wants to say much at all. Well, you know, it's kind of, I, I have to take it as evidently it's true. I, I have to take... Okay. Well, thank you, Lise, for talking with me. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye now. Well, as you can see, the... Watchtower doesn't want to make comment, but uh, what the legal department said is they could not make comment on it. Now, this is lawsuits that have been settled. Uh, obviously, you have to take that as it did happen.